welcome viewers today we will talk about a bomber aircraft that is called by its manufacturer as the world's first sixth generation fighter although uh, the air force usaf doesn't agree to it but uh, it's called b21 raider and its manufacturer is North, Northrop Grumman. Its first flight has already happened on 10th November 2023 and it's uh, in flight testing phase. Uh, a little about uh, uh, some history of bombers. Initially in World War I, there were, uh, the, the aircraft were used as observation surveillance of the enemy area and uh, taking mail from one point to another mail and messages and uh, there were few uh, air to air uh, fight also between most of the planes uh, fighters were uh, by by planes uh, those days and there were comparatively very few air to air fights in that area uh, while in the Second World War, there was mass production of both fighter and bomber aircraft. So uh, uh, the first one was observation aircraft and use it as uh, as uh, for trans transmission of messages. The second one was the fighter aircraft with guns, etc. And the third type. Uh, that uh, became operational in the Second World War at uh, its specialization was the bombers. The bombers has to uh, take a lot of weight, so uh, it its wing area is quite long. That makes it slow also, so it has to have fighter uh, with it. So. Uh, this B-21 radar is uh, apparently its looks and dimensions are almost the same as B-2 Spirit, but of course uh, its cost is very low uh, compared to the $2 billion. Then one of the previous aircraft that B-21 will replace will be this B1 Lancer and B2, B2 uh, we just have seen, and uh, and if all of them are replaced, that are 21 B2s and 45 B1s, then after that this B52s will be replaced. This is a very can say oldest of the aircraft that was introduced in 50s the design is of 40s so now it's about 75 years old aircraft but it will it seems will survive uh, after 2040 also as per the plan because their priority is making uh, replacing b1 and b2s first with, with this b B-21. Uh, this uh, B-21, uh, the 21 is about 21st century that uh, they have named this aircraft because it's the first 21st century design uh, from the Americans. B-1 uh, was introduced uh, in 1980s and B2 was introduced in 1990s. So this uh, is the first design of 21st century of a bomber aircraft. Uh, therefore, it is uh, named as B21. So in USAF, uh, this is part of long range strike bomber aircraft program. It's, it would be a long range stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the USAF. 
deliver it will deliver conventional and thermonuclear weapons and as i said it will replace the rockwell b1 b lancer and northrop grumman b2 spirit by 2040 and possibly boeing b52 after that all, also the air force planned for b this b21 raiders in 2011 and awarded the major development contract in 2015. The B-21 made its, its first flight on 10th November 2023. It is expected to enter service by 2027. Many aspects of B-21 program are high, highly classified and the program is designated as a special access program. Although some information about various other aspects of the program have been made public since 2015, the first photos of aircraft were released on 2nd December 2022, taken during the rollout ceremony at Northrop, Northrop Grumman's production facilities in Palmdale, California. The classified long-range strike bomber program began in 2011, as I said. Management and acquisition of B-21 program is being overseen by the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Offer Office rather than through additional military procurement process. However, the B-21 program remains subject to the non-McCurdy reporting requirements to the Congress. A 2015 media report said that Air Force wanted the bomber to also function as an intelligence collection platform, battle manager, and intercept aircraft. In 2016, the then Secretary of the Air Force, Deborah Lee James, said that the B-21 would be a fifth-generation global precision attack platform with networked sensor shoot capability. Northrop Grumman described the B-21 as the world's sixth-generation aircraft, as I said earlier. It was formally designated B-21 because the aircraft would be 21st century's first bomber in September 2016, the Air Force offic officials announced that the B-21 would be named Raider in the honor of Doolittle Raiders. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Richard E. Cole, then the last living member of the Doolittle Raiders, was present at the naming ceremony at the Air Force Association Conference. In March 2016, the USAF announced the seven Tire 1 suppliers for the program, Pratt & Whitney, BAE Systems, Spirit Aerosystems, Orbital ATK, Rockwell Collins, GKN Aerospace, and Genic Key Industries. In 2016, the F-35 program manager Chris Bogdan said that the B-21 engines would be similar enough to the F-35 Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine to reduce its cost. In February 2016, the head of Air Force Global Strike Command said he expected the service would place an initial order for 100 B-21s and built up to a fleet, full fleet of 175 to 200. In 2017, two USAF studies suggested that Air Force would increase its initial purchase from 8200 from 8200 to 145 aircrafts in early 2021 several media outlets reported that as completion of first b21 approached construction on the second unit had begun in february 2022 six b21s were under construction about 8000 northrop grumman employees had worked on the program with more than 400 suppliers from at least 40 United States states. The first test flight of the B-21 took place on 10th November 2023 at Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. In December 2022, the cost of B-21 aircraft was estimated to be $700 million. At that time, the officials estimated that they would spend at least $203 billion over 30 years to develop, purchase, and operate a fleet of 100 B-21s.
the first B-21 will be expected to operate from Ellsworth Air Force Base, South Dakota. In March 2019, Ellsworth was selected as the base to host the first operational B-21 unit as well as the first training unit. The B-21 is stated by 2040 to replace U.S. Air Force 45B-1 strategic bombers, which date from 1980s, and 20B-2 strategic bombers, which date from the 1990s. The B-21 may also eventually replace the B-52, which is stated to remain in service for many decades. In March 2022, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall III raised the possibility of a bomber drone to work with the bomber, but the idea was later dropped because it would not save much money to produce such a large unmanned aircraft. The USAF is also planning to acquire a new long-range fighter from its next-generation air dominance program, known as the FX or Penetrating Counter Air to escort the B-21 deep into the enemy territory and help it survive enemy air defenses and intercepting fighters. There was a report of Australian interest in the B-21 raiders also, uh, but uh, the idea was brought later by the Australians and they opt instead opted to update uh, to uh, their F-35 and F-18 aircraft to the next block. That enables them to fire the uh, long-range anti-ship missile AGM-158C LRACM, long-range anti-ship missile, and the Joint Strike missile. It's, uh, General characteristics are 9,100 kg weapon load, length 54 feet, wingspan 132 feet, empty weight 31,751 kg, max takeoff weight 81,647 kg, two Brighton Whitney PW9000 engines, non after burning turbofans, 27,000 pounds of thirst each that is 120 kilonewton maximum speed would be mac 0.8 uh, plus so the uh, when they are looking for this kind of bombers so i think their third threat perception is is china because uh, from Guam or from Australia, uh, it would be the nearest target. Uh, although theoretically they can go to Russia also because they have a range between 11,000 to 14,000 kilometer. Uh, but that far east, east far part of Russia would not be accessible from that side. From Europe, they would be uh, covering a lot of Russia from because the far eastern side of Russia is not uh, populated enough or in I think uh, uh, just the Villarda Vistok uh, port uh, where Russian Navy is can be a target there but uh, other than that there are no major cities on that part of uh, on Asian part of Russia so uh, that's all for uh, uh, today uh, please like share and uh, my video so that i keep on making video like this take care bye